Hello folks, Sam Owens here with uh, a product I feel is directed towards seniors uh, or anyone with mild to moderate hearing uh, difficulties. This might be the answer uh, for that time, those times when you just don't hear every word or you miss some things. Let me show you this product. It's right here and uh, I'm going to show information in the upper right hand corner that is going to help you see some details about the product that I don't have enough time to cover in the video. Uh, so keep a look at that. Take the lid off and this is the company right here right on top and you see I've already been through this. I like to always uh, review the product before I create the video so I know what I'm talking about. And I have gone through, uh, found the features and how easy this product is to use. It's amazing. There's uh, only one button control and I'm going to show that to you. You turn right over and here's some product information and it identifies various parts of the headset and uh, we will go through these uh, you're gonna see what you get with the product and uh, various things operation guide is right there and you get charging information there's two chargings one for the case and one for the hearing aids themselves there's two of them so let's get with uh, looking at the product now that we've uh, reviewed the manual and it's going to be very helpful and you might want to uh, read the entire manual is the showpiece right here they always put these static control bags that uh, keep uh, static electricity from destroying stuff you'll see it a lot with products electronics this is it right here, and you can see which way to open it. The USB charging port is on the back side. This is the hinge. That's a Class C, and let's see, I got a, a beeping sound. Um, that is a Class C uh, charging uh, port, and you have a charging cable in here. So let's go ahead and open the accessories. There is your Class C charging port that you can use any charger that you have like that right there. It goes right into there. And that's how easy it is. What that does is charges up and you open it from this side. And there's a place to put your fingernail right in that crease right there. Okay, and then that opens it up. And if you'll notice, there's like uh, four little lights there LED lights that light up white and uh, they this is a charging case that if you're traveling uh, as you have the uh, headset stored here they recharge uh, the headsets uh, so you can put them back in here you don't even have to use the charging cable and it will recharge them at least one time I haven't determined how many times and there's a little uh, hole that, or a light right there. A blue means it's charging. Green means it's fully charged. And when they're out, they're fully charged and ready to use. Okay, let's put that there. And here's the other things you get. Okay. Everyone's ears aren't the same. I haven't opened these. I want to leave it sealed because the ear uh, pieces the little rubber uh, things that fit in your ear channel. These are different sizes for your different size ears. So you might want to try them. You also get a earwax cleaning to clean the, uh, uh, the head pieces out of uh, any foreign debris. They're right and left and they're marked on each one like right here. There's three gold contacts right there. When you receive this, there's going to be a little cover over it. It's kind of a greenish uh, or bluish cover, and it has a little tab. You have to peel that off. 
but you want to look very closely because one of them, there was another cover underneath that or it separated and it was not charging and I discovered by looking very closely at those contacts that there was a uh, reflection over it and I saw that it was another piece of uh, cellophane or you want to look very closely and it should be clear of any kind of uh, material over that. Uh, so I'm going to show you what, uh, what it looks like when you place them in there so that you know that they both should turn green or blue. And right here, nice and shiny, no material over it. This is the one, this is the left one. It wasn't charging. And here's the little uh, uh, ear plugs that go into your ear channel. And to take them off, you just simply peel these back, like, just take your fingers and peel it back like this. And then you just pull it off. like that. Just pull them off. It's hard to show you. Right there. Now I'm going to just put it back on and it fits around there just tightly. Just push it in there at an angle just like that. Push it in hard and then wiggle it over and then you should kind of move it around to make sure it's on and that is. That's how easy. All right now both of mine are good. This is the left and this is the right. And like I say, there's an R and an L on the back. Now, this is the left. That's the right. Right here, L. And they go in just like this. Kind of the shape of this kidney right here. You just put them in. And you see it turned green. And you put this one in. That one actually turned blue. It's charging a little bit. And this one went blue. So they're blue. They're both charging because I had used them a little bit today uh, listening to a book on my uh, iPhone. Oh, yes. It has Bluetooth. I'm going to go through all of that. So right there, there are the four charging lights for the case. And... Uh, as it uses the uh, charge down, you'll have less lights here. If there's only two lights, then you really need to charge it up. I'm going to show you how to mount them. And really, uh, when you pull them out, they should crank up and be active. So, you take this like this. This is the right one. And I can already hear them squealing a little bit when you put them in. And then you pull your right, and it talks to you. And now I, I put this one on. And then I put this one in just like this. Pull my ear down and kind of wiggle. Okay, now it's talking to me saying there's no cellular connection. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... Uh, get these they automatically uh, pair with any Bluetooth device that's around like your cell phone so what you do is go to your settings and then you go down here to Bluetooth and it's on if it's not on you want to turn it on and there's how you turn it on and what you're looking for right on the front uh, second page Bluetooth name is MA or M-U-A-M-A-B-T. That's what you're looking for in this list. There it is. And it's already connected. It should automatically connect, pair and connect, if you have your phone on and close like this. Uh, so I'm connected, and now what I can do is I'm listening and hearing everything that's going on. And if I want to uh, change the volume, Here's what you do is two bumps of this little area. This is your touch button. There's no button there. It senses like touch. Okay, I'm going to go two clicks. Okay, 
uh, that actually turned my book on. So really, I'm going to uh, try that again. Uh, one click will uh, turn uh, whatever you have on or answer a phone. Let me try it. There, I heard a little beep. You have five different levels of sound. And then finally, if you keep doing two quick uh, clicks, it'll go up to volume highest, something to that nature. And then if you keep clicking it again, it'll go back down and it keeps running through these. And when you hear volume loudest, then the next two clicks you do will start it over going through the different level. And uh, I'm not sure at this point where they have to do both of them. I think you do. And uh, let me just, there I heard one little beat. Okay, uh, I have an audio book on. If you do one click, it's going to turn the audio book on and pause it on and pause it with one. So you have to get used to that. Uh, I'm going to click one more time, double click for this uh, left ear. It said maximum volume on this one. So now I'm going to click it two clicks again to go down to the beginning. There, one beep. Now I'm at the lowest. I'm going to try this one. One beep. Okay, now I'm even on both of them. You could go through and get them all to the highest level, both of them, and then one more double click, you know you're at the first level. Okay, that's how you adjust the volume. That's, uh, there's several other things. Uh, uh, it, there's three different modes of listening. You're maybe outside. It'll, that's uh, mode two. Let me get to it. Hearing aid modes. Uh, you give it uh, uh, three clicks of three clicks of the sensor button, and it changes the mode. Click, 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 and it'll say mode one. Click, 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 mode two, and click, 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 mode three, and then back to mode one. So two clicks is volume, three clicks is the mode change uh, for outdoors, indoors, and uh, the other is, um, oh, let's see, right here. Strong noise reduction. Uh, if you, you're out to uh, maybe a gun range or something or other, you can turn it down to level three. It's gonna take some time getting used to things. And when you're listening to music or something through the Bluetooth, you adjust the volume with the uh, the smartphone. You don't use this because it cuts you out of the hearing aid mode and puts you into a Bluetooth mode with your device. So this is absolutely fantastic. And right now I'm in the hearing aid mode, but as soon as I do one click, I hear my book and the hearing aid is no more. You don't hear Bluetooth and hearing aid together. It switches from one to the other. Like right now, I'm hearing my, uh, my book. I'm going to click it again. And now it put it on pause and I'm back to uh, hearing aid mode. And there is a little delay. It takes about two seconds for it to switch over. This is a fantastic uh, hearing aid device and uh, it meets everything that I could want uh, because now I can make phone calls. If I want to make a phone call, I can actually do it and then it will cut me in and I can actually talk and hear uh, what's going on on my phone and it switches out of the hearing aid fashion. I can't demonstrate this. All I can do is describe it uh, as best I can, and I hope this is uh, something you, you can uh, see the value of. Now, I do need to show you how to turn the device off if you wanted. 
you hold it for about five seconds or until you just hold it until you hear power off. So I'm going to push on each one. Each one is separate. So I'm going to push on this and hold it. And power off. Then I push this one and hold it. Power off on both of them. So the power is off. To manually turn the power on if you want it. So if you're out and about and you just do not want uh, this, the hearing aid uh, feature, then you can turn them off if you're hearing fine or just don't need the amplification. But when you want to turn them back on, put them in your ear, and then you push and hold for at least two seconds or you will hear it turn on. You can just hear, hold it until you hear it. Power on. Power on. It said mode two. Connected, uh, so it connected to my phone. So all of the information is there. Everything is automatic and uh, uh, it, it's really working great. Uh, so, uh, I think I've covered uh, the basics of what we need uh, to know about this, and uh, I think you will find that this could be of benefit if you have uh, issues with uh, hearing. Okay, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching my video.